Hey everyone, my name is Evgeny. I am the head and founder of the iProxy online project. iProxy is a mobile app for Android devices that allows anyone to launch mobile proxies. It only takes a couple of minutes of your time and you don't even need any programming skills. iProxy is also a very lucrative option. You will pay for a SIM card plan and meager cost for using the service itself. As you will see, it will still be several times cheaper than buy ready-made mobile proxies. Let's download the app. You can do it from the Google Play Store. You can also download the APK. I'll do it directly from the website. The APK is located at iproxy.online slash android. Click continue. Hello. Download. Open it. Click install. Click open. The phone I have has a root access. Choose remember choice forever and click allow. Now you need to sign up. Click sign up, fill in the fields and click try for free. So now you need to create a connection. Click on create connection. Choose the closest city to you. For example, I will choose Amsterdam. You can write anything in name and anything in the description. Let's say in the description it will be a phone number and let's say the name will be connection for Anthony. Let's click create connection. You can use the service free of charge for two days Big Daddy Pro plan. If you need to connect several phones, several proxies, you will need a separate connection for each one. It also means that you need to pay for each connection. Now let's log in to the app. To do this, take your account login info, the email and password. From then on, the setup is automatic. You just need to click next, next, next. Click here start, click here continue. Click Hello. iProxy works in conjunction with OpenVPN. It downloads the correct version and automatically configures it. First we downloaded it, now it's installing. That's it. OpenVPN has been successfully installed. Now we need to set it up. Just keep clicking Next like in the previous step. Click Continue. I trust this application. Click OK. Click OK. So friends, we are now logged in. We see that we are connected via Wi-Fi. The proxy has become online. We see the same connection in our personal account turned green. However, in order to get mobile proxies, you absolutely have to disable the Wi-Fi feature, insert a SIM card and enable mobile data. And we are about to do just that. Now then, the Wi-Fi is disabled, the SIM card is connected and you can see that mobile internet is used and you can see your current IP address. It matches the one you see in your profile. Now let's see how changing the IP address works. This is a must-have feature for those who work with mobile proxies. The app has a change IP button. This button will appear if the phone has root access or if a no root device has voice assistant set up. Click change IP. You see airplane mode toggle on and off. In your profile you can see the new IP address you got. You can see that your phone is connected to LTE and the battery charge is 90%. The proxy credentials are also displayed. You can see here type, you can see here IP, port, login and password. You can copy it. You can also change the view. Now let's set up the phone on a regular non-rooted device. This time let me download the app from the Play Store. So friends, the app has been downloaded. Let's open it. Enter the data from your personal account, email and password. Click login. We see that root access is not available. Let's click start. Let's click continue. Hello. Hello OpenVPN to be installed. Click settings. Hello. Click install. No need to launch OpenVPN. Just click done. I trust this application, OK. OK. That's it. 
Our proxies are now online. Now then, friends, you see your connection turned green. Now let's set up a remote IP address change via the voice assistant. We see that we don't have change IP button. Follow a simple guide. Click here, click change IP without root, open voice assistant, click assist app, choose a proxy, confirm, back and back again. You should now see the change IP button. And how about I will show you how our app toggles airplane mode on its own. So let's click change IP button. And now we are gonna get a new IP address. You see the same IP address in your profile. Phone non-rooted and battery charge is 48%. Let me show you how the IP address changing Telegram bot works. Let's launch a proxy online bot. Now we need to log in. To do this, type slash login space email space password and press enter. Yes, we see our connection is online and our Telegram bot is connected. Let's click change IP for the connection for Anthony. See the phone toggle airplane mode for a second, which means Telegram is about to send us a notification that your IP address changed. Here we can see everything works. All that's left is to connect to the proxy to make sure it works. Let's take proxy credentials. We take type, IP or host, port, login and password. We take this data and put it to the multi-login. We see here IP or host, port, login and password. We can click check proxy. We see it's working. Let's start our profile. That's it. Proxy works. See, you get the same IP address on your phone and through proxy and you can change it for a new one. Let's change. We see how the Android toggles airplane mode and we see the new IP on Android and we see the new IP through proxies. Friends, here are the features you will get by using iProxy. You can add new proxy access points. You can choose SOX5 or HTTP. You can choose authorization with login and password or without login and password. Login and password can be changed. You can fill anything. The IP address whitelist shows which IPs the proxies will work with. You can check the logs for each proxy. Here are logs. Logs are the feature that will show you what time, what websites were visited through proxy. You can click save and you see your custom login and password. We also have SMS app. SMS is a separate app that sends all your incoming text messages to the Telegram bot. You won't miss a message about your balance getting low. You can also issue a USSD command here, for example, to check your phone balance. How to set up? You can click here. In the uptime, you can see what time your proxies were online or not. Fingerprint is the feature to replace your passive OS fingerprint and you can click here to set up and to get more info. Change IP address. You all guys have your own goals. Someone needs a URL to change their IP address for say using software like Dolphin, FB Tool, Xenoposter and the rest. For some people it will be useful to use rotation. Rotation means that you will change your IP address every n minutes. You can also add new URLs to change your IP. You can copy it and put it in the software. You can also delete it and the URL will not work anymore. Bot. Here you can manage your notifications to Telegram bot. History. The IP address history shows which IP address the phone had at a specific time. Here is log history for the entire connection. And in this tab you can get the history of logs directly for each proxy access point. Tariff. The service has three plans, Baby, Big Daddy and Big Daddy Pro. In Big Daddy Pro you will get features that are not available in, in other plans. For example, you will get Wi-Fi split that will allow you to increase the speed of proxy. SMS app for duplicating incoming SMS to your Telegram bot. Unique IP feature that will allow you to get unique IP. Logs for 12 weeks 
fix LTE feature that will allow you automatically switch from 3G to 4G or 5G to get better proxy speed. Instant change IP, in this case you will need two Androids and you will get new IP instantly. Change IP feature will be performed instantly. Pro settings tab. Here you can enter your custom DNS. If you want to learn more about this feature, please contact our support. Time of phone in airplane mode. This feature is a must for all users whose mobile operator assigns a new IP address only if the phone stays in airplane mode for, say, more than 30 seconds. For example, in Kazakhstan, there is a mobile operator that changed the IP address only if the phone has been in airplane mode for more than 30 seconds. For this case, just set the timer to 30 seconds. Yes, this will take a while, but the phone will get a new IP address. That's what you need. I would also like to draw your attention to the unique IP feature. It will allow you to get a unique IP address in the last 10 minutes. Let's say you don't want to get the same IP address within 2 hours, so it means 120 minutes. Since the mobile operator assigns a random IP each time you toggle airplane mode, you can get the same IP more than once. To avoid that, you need to additionally toggle airplane mode and specify the number of attempts it has to get a unique IP address. Say we want a unique IP address for at least 2 hours and airplane mode can be toggled up to three times. If after three times the phone still doesn't get a unique IP address, the proxies will just keep working without there being a false one. Dear friends, when this video was released, users from over 30 countries were launching mobile proxies through a proxy online. I hope you will find this video helpful. We are constantly improving and updating our service. We always improve and add new features in the app and in the personal account area. So be sure to subscribe on our YouTube and Telegram channels. If you have any questions about the way our service works, our tech support team is always ready to consult you. So how about we get down to launching mobile proxies from our phones? Let's go!